Why are you hanging around here like a guest of honor standing? Don't you have better things to do? I have to go. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Careful, 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 uh, sit. Yeah. Why on earth did we stop right here? I don't want to sit here. I need to go inside the bar. Oh, no, you're not. Your uh, parents probably have never seen you so drunk like this before. And I'm with you. Your mother will probably say you got drunk all because of me. Don't let her get angry. I won't let anyone insult you ever. What? Thanks to you, I feel free like a bird in the sky. And all I can say is, I don't care what people think anymore. My mother's the first one to, to know about this new me. Your mother? Why is she coddling me? As if I'm still a baby in her arms, huh? I'm gonna need to tell her that I'm not. Wait, sir, he listen. Let's stay here. Just a little longer, please. It's gonna be okay, Valia. I'm sober. And I'm polite right now. Mom? Daddy? It's me, Seri. Did you recognize me? Oh! oh, oh. <gasps> Are you drunk? What is it? Have you fought with someone? It's nothing. Don't mind me. I have to tell you something. Yes, I drank a little. But engagement implies drinking toasts to the newlywed. But the toast that I said in there was just... If you only... If you only just heard. Oh my god, Seri. What about the toast? I told everyone the truth in there right in their faces and uh, I don't care. Can you just tell us what exactly you did say at the toast? Don't worry about the toast he gave. I took Suri out there in time and brought him here right away so he can calm down. So this is right in time? He's drunk here like a sailor. How much did he drink? He must not even drink alcohol. Did you know that? Who even told you about that nonsense, Ivan? Why is it nonsense? It wasn't nonsense. I told them what I really think about them. Ivan, and Victoria, and all the Rishaks, all of them, are hypocrites. Well, then you must have spoiled their celebration. They'll refuse to pay for our services, and it will go bankrupt, that's for sure. My mistake, my guests have no champagne. I'll be right back. <laughs> It's hard to find a man in this wilderness to find a treasure like yours under your pillowcase. Katya, I want to apologize. I understand it's unpleasant to see all this stuff. I also feel bad about Seri. No need. You said what you wanted to say, now leave me alone. Keep your sympathy to yourself and go back to your bride. Otherwise, she'll get mad. Don't you want to stop drawing attention to yourself? It was an accident. <laughs> I 
Everyone's asking where their bride's father is, and he's here. I have nothing to do there. I can't understand why Laura and Roman are even together. I'm not surprised about that. They actually look cute together. Katya, why are you working during this engagement? Why are you torturing yourself? I needed this job and I had to get paid somehow. Mm. I know you're still upset with me, I understand. But I'm still a family member and I hate to see you suffer like this with Roman and Laura. To be fair, I hoped Roman would come to his senses and cancel the engagement. But now it's impossible, I know. Well, it doesn't matter what I feel right now. Nothing's gonna change. He's with her. Vladimir Drostovsky, Roman's uncle, was keen to celebrate with us and the newlyweds, but he couldn't come because he's a Ukrainian parliament deputy and has some public affairs, but he gave a special gift. I hope some of you recognize this famous piece of art. <gasps> An expensive and rare find, upcoming star in the painting world, and it's named Harmony No. 5. Painted by the world-famous artist Eduard van der Kunst. A huge excitement has been aroused by his paintings in Kiev. <laughs> An extraordinary painting. Although I can't remember anything about the artist's name or his works. I know about him, but I missed his exhibition in the gallery. I can tell the master at a glance. Such a great mix of colors and expression. Super. I bet I could draw such a thing as well, using only my left hand and foot. <laughs> I'll even have a model on the rope. I still can paint better than that. <laughs> so tell me, why is that painting even called Harmony Number 5? Um, because the previous four harmonies are sold at auctions and uh, are in his gallery. If our newlyweds don't mind, I'd like to hang this picture above in the living room. <laughs> we don't mind at all. May all the guests of this welcoming house have an opportunity to enjoy a true masterpiece. I'll put it here now to please our guests. Please stay close and safe in our hotel. There's some warm meals that will be served in a few. I didn't expect you to behave in such a shameful way. What do you have to say for yourself? I need more vodka for this. Oh, will you stop it? Give it to me. I'm a man. A man deserves to drink, mama. Give it to me. Mm. That is enough vodka for today. I will decide if the vodka that I'm drinking is enough or if it's not enough. You know nothing. How can you stand there doing nothing? Did you hear how your son is talking to his mother? At least tell him to know his place. What am I supposed to do? He's very drunk. Say nothing. That's probably the right thing to do. Because your wife knows everything better than anyone. Listen, Mama. You don't even let my father and me breathe when we want. You are controlling every step. Perhaps father's drinking because of you. Why are you even telling me all of this? I've never heard such disrespect. It's you who taught him this. Ever since he came back from Stanev, I feel like I don't know my son. I have nothing to do with your son's decision. Can you please leave Vali alone? Stop blaming other people for my mistake. It's a bad habit. It's clearly my fault. Calm down, Seri. I think that's enough. Now give me that bottle. You've already said some things you're not supposed to. Better get some sleep. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. Oh. Well, I'm calmer now. I'm also... I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. Oh. <gasps> Sari, oh, Sari, my son, Sari, wake up. That's a great painting. He's a very good artist, Vanderkunst. Very good, huh? I like the name, it's very sophisticated. Vanderkunst. You better stand back from this masterpiece and maybe pay some attention to your bride very closely. <sighs> you look gorgeous. 
gorgeous tonight. I'm so proud of you. Top model beautiful. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> I do feel very happy today, Mom. Sweetheart, may I have this dance with you? I will gladly dance with you. <laughs> Maybe we should call an ambulance. No, don't panic. I know what I should do. Ritz, help me. We should take Sarhi to his room. Um, Laura is an adult already, and clearly she can decide on her own too. Whether it's right or wrong, she will make her choices. For now, you can only support Laura as her father. I know it's going to be complicated, but you shouldn't break them and grow apart from your daughter. So what you mean is, if I leave now, I'll regret it? That's exactly what I mean. You should think about it. I have to go back to work. Try to relax, honey. You should come down and enjoy your dance with me, can you please? By the way, do you know where your father went earlier? I don't see him right now. I don't know where he is. What do you need him for? I just thought about you. I'm just guessing that you would like to dance with him. Are you upset with his behavior? Of course, but I don't want to think about it. It's my celebration today. And I won't let anyone spoil anything. Excuse me. <clears throat> so you're finally Roman Drostovsky's bride. Are you happy? I am, thank you for asking. The only person I'm not pleased with is my father. I will never forgive you for disrupting our engagement and you know it's very rude to us. I wish I could just take back what I did to you and- And I won't forgive you for leaving mom and I for your cheap mistress on purpose. You have the only way out. Maybe it will work. Go and try to apologize to mom. Laura. Why are you still here? The Rishuk's party is in full swing. They need more workers. I'm going. Uh, I just wanted to ask about Sir He. Is he sleeping? Yes, he's sleeping. And I called the doctor just to be safe. Thank God. I just wanted to ask if I can continue working in your place. Sir, he said you might hire me to your tavern in a few weeks or so. I don't know what said he told you about that, but he was really drunk. I am the owner of the tavern, not him, and we're fully staffed right now. You know, I agree with Seri. I think we could really use Fali's assistance. I don't care what you think. I manage the tavern by myself, so I make the final decision. I know I said I needed an assistant, but now Katja works in the position and I don't need any more help. You were hired one time to work during the celebration. So go and work on your only day. Can you believe that our daughter's a bride today? Do you remember our engagement? You came to our home to ask for her marriage. But my father said no to you, so we drove away instead. I remember that day. Then I insisted on it anyway, and it worked well. 
father didn't want me to marry my loved one. Familiar story, right? Just like you didn't agree on Laura's marriage. Then we got married too. And it was my father who helped us to get everything that we, we have today. Really? Even now, you will talk about the property your father gave us. I agree. Your father helped us to privatize the hotel, but I do not and won't claim the hotel. Everything your father helped us get will be here for you. I won't claim anything. So please help me, God. Just leave me. <sighs> Ivan, let's just remember not to quarrel today. I just wanted to say that I remember and cherish everything good that ever happened to us. That's why I'm ready to forgive you for your adultery and ask your pardon for my fault with Stas. This is our only chance to fix everything and have a fresh start. How dare you ask for my forgiveness? It's over. Our marriage came to an end finally. Our marriage is only on paper. Katya, how can I help you? Uh, wipe these down and bring it to the hall. Anyway, how does Sir he feel? Don't even ask me. I almost dragged him home. He drank too much. He even fainted. Poor guy. He doesn't even drink at all, does he? That's the point. Aunt Zina is really furious at you. She believes it's your fault. I tried to say that it wasn't you, but she didn't want to listen to me. Aunt Zina is right anyway. Everything is my fault. I didn't want to upset Sir He, but it's difficult for him just to be a friend of mine. Have it your way. But listen to me. I'll give you some friendly advice. She's angry. You're not welcome in the tavern anymore. You know, Ivan, Laura's age is marriageable. It's difficult to say no when receiving a proposal. But I can't bear to see it happen. And her groom, Roman Drostovsky, is acting strangely. He was with Katya at first. They loved each other for sure, but they broke up and he went immediately to Laura. And he even wanted to marry her. What's the hurry for? What does he want? Maybe it is a marriage of convenience? No, 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 no. Drostovsky's a serious businessman. He knows his way to earn his money. So neither money nor love. So what does he want? Maybe. Everything is far less complex than he was with Katya. Then understood that Laura is a woman. The young man just messed up. I don't know. He didn't seem to be really in love with Laura. Just think about it. Both girls fell in love with the same man. I hoped Katya and Laura would finally make peace and become friends. But this guy broke the two of them up. Definitively. There's an abyss between my daughters, and I can feel it. I could continue dancing, but I see that you're already tired. Yes, a bit. Excuse me. The engagement was wonderful and excellent, but it's time for us to go to Kiev. If that's the case, thank you very much for celebrating with us. Goodbye. Goodbye, take care. Stay here, darling. I will escort our guests from Kiev very quickly. Thank you. <laughs> the guests are already leaving. I guess it's time for us to go home too. What do you say? So you drank some champagne, had some snack, and that's it? Where are you going? They haven't served the cake yet. Such luxurious celebrations that don't take place every day. I will stay till the end. How about Zahar? Zahar is still waiting for us. Go. We have to hurry up. Let's Step go. Stepan. Yes, what is it? Thank you for your gift. Mm -hmm. But for heaven's sake, keep mm -hmm. your rooster with you instead. Mm -hmm. May it live with you a little longer and bring you good fortune. Okay. 
But I can't carry it in my hands. It's not a simple rooster. It's an eagle. That's right. A mountain yes, we'll eagle. We'll figure it out. Come on, let's go. It is very elegant. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. All right. All the guests have greeted us, but you still haven't talked to me. No, I didn't. But I greeted you sincerely. <gasps> Sweetheart, I'm glad that you're back for me. Klaustra didn't say anything and I got bored standing. What should I do to make you feel better? I know what you can do for me, my husband. Walk me into my room. Okay, darling, let's go. I just felt how tired I am just now. I didn't think the engagement can be so tiring. I'm exhausted. Take some rest, I will go back to the guests. Do you understand that we are the groom and the bride now? Really now? <laughs> Thank you for telling me that. You're welcome. Do you have some old-fashioned prejudices or superstitions about the wedding night? Well, I'm not a superstitious person. Well then. You don't mind if we have the honeymoon before the marriage now, do you? Just for tonight? I wouldn't like to be alone in my bed. But you said you were awfully tired. Yes. I'm tired, but I want you to hold me in your arms. Oh, it was a friendly kiss, not the kiss of a future husband. I want you to show how much you really love and crave for me. I'll show you then. you made there yesterday. We even called you a doctor. Thank God everything's okay. Do you remember what a laughing stock you were yesterday? No. I hardly can remember. People already told me about your feats, but you drank too much it's unnecessary and shamed our entire family. I have nothing to say about that. Just thank God they didn't hear what you told us here. It's embarrassing. I'm sorry, Mother. I didn't mean it. I didn't know what was wrong with me yesterday. I know where you're coming from, son. You're suffering because of Katya. Alcohol doesn't make problems vanish. It will make it worse. And drinking during work is bad. It is childish, son. I understand. I don't know what face to show now. 
I feel ashamed to face them. Especially... Especially Katya. You should try and apologize to her. By the way, where is Katya? She is late. That's not likely to be late. Where is she? Where is Valia? I need to talk to her, too. I remember she helped me the most yesterday. She has nothing to do here. I even told her yesterday. She was hired to help during the engagement. I can't employ two waitresses. I hardly have the money to pay Katja. What more if I have two employees? And after your behavior, I don't know how things will go in our business. Please pardon my behavior. I learned my lesson already. It won't happen again. Hello. I made coffee. Would you like to have breakfast? Hello. Of course I would. And I'm not angry anymore. You were my best and my most faithful friend right now. I love you like a sister. I'm glad you're back. I didn't plan anything like this. It happened regardless of my will. I promise it was pure intention. Asya, you don't need to make excuses anymore. It's your right not to tell me about your private life. I'm so sorry. Also, Victoria, work me up good. I want to apologize for that one too. No, it's me who needed to apologize because I met Ivan secretly and didn't tell you. The secret was a big burden for me. I didn't know how to inform you, and I was scared. But I'm so glad right now because I thought you would never forgive me for that. I promise I will never keep any secrets from you. Hello. Hello. Now what? Are we going to continue your daughter's celebration? It's all over now. Everything ended well, and it's fine that it ended that way. And now, as you told me, we can meet in the hotel with no limits. Why are we meeting in secret again? I needed your help with one more thing today. I promise. We won't hide again after this. Same old story. Which letter should I bring this time? Calm down, will you? You will do almost nothing this time. I just need you to document the injuries. Injuries? I couldn't take it. I destroyed their damn cake. I completely destroyed it. That's unbelievable. I can imagine how difficult it was for you to be there. I tried to focus and not to give a damn about the two of mm -hmm. them. Try not to react to them. But Laura looked at me and hugged Roman intentionally. It looked like she wanted to insult me directly and as hard as possible. Unfortunately, she's just like her crazy mother. There was one more unpleasant incident that happened. Sir, he suddenly drank. He told me some bad things and started a fight with... Ivan told me what happened. I feel sorry for Sir, he, you know. He's a good man. I know that, and I think it's my fault. I should have explained to him more that we can remain friends, but nothing more. But you hope that he will. But he will. They told me that the Vishnyaks are furious at me and they don't want me to be in the tavern. However, I also wanted to stop working there anyway. I don't want Suri to suffer from my presence and... Katya, I understand you, but you should go there and have a talk with Suri. Ah! We've finished washing up, and we want to have breakfast now. Where have you been? <laughs> Sit down. I want to play hide-and-seek with my friends later. Okay, but only if you eat everything that's served. Okay, I will eat it all. Very good. She has an appetite. It means she's recovering. Are you girls friends again? Is this for real? <laughs> It's all good now. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> How are you feeling? Well, 
I'm going to the Vrishnak's tavern. I will talk to Sir He. And then go to Shurnipsi. I'll ask if they have a job in the translation agency. Then I'll go to the board of trustees. And check how the case of the children custody transfer is going there. I've already had enough of this paperwork. I wish you good luck then. Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> so, now, what do we have here, Lucia? Ivan is too impulsive and has problems with self-control. <clears throat> I know how to push him to his limits. But I think the most important thing is the empty house. I get it now. You want to provoke him to beat you up? Are you ready to become a punching bag just to make Ivan suffer on purpose? Finally. You got it, and you should help me with this. You have to record it, and stop Ivan. But it probably won't be necessary because I know how to control Ivan's emotions well enough. Mm -hmm. Then what's next? Then I will file a complaint with the police. They won't arrest him yet, of course, but his bright reputation of him will darken definitely. Let's just say Kaja won't like a person capable of beating a woman and to be near her child in that house. Katya again? It's just an example. You can calm down. You saw how aggressive and dangerous Ivan can be. I'm only going to spread this and use this information. I hope you stop complaining. I've asked you to stop. You must not go for this girl. She has another man in her mind. How could you sort things out with her during her ex's engagement party? You know that it is not right and it will have a negative effect long term. Please. I came to apologize. I really didn't want to cause any trouble. But it happened. Not a big deal. We will get through it. Sir He, we really need to talk. Yeah, we need that talk. How are you feeling today? I'm okay, thank you. I wanted to apologize to you. I'm also responsible for that. Come on, you know it's actually my fault. <laughs> I'm sorry I gave you a false sense of hope. I needed a friend and you helped me through it all. I'm grateful and still consider you as my friend. But only as a friend and nothing more. I understand. Well, I too don't want our friendship to end. I hope you will remain as friends. But I don't want to work at the tavern anymore. I want you to work here, and so do my parents as well. I know you need this job. No, thank you. I think I made a decision. This is better for everyone. Send my thanks to your mom. Please stay here. Bye. Do you want to leave? Yes, I want to, but I can't. 
You look sad. Is there something wrong? No, everything is okay. You're very beautiful. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. As for yesterday, I like that you danced with your father. However, I didn't understand why he left so suddenly. He did what he wanted to do. I don't care what he's doing anymore. My father was against our engagement. He even tried to buy me, but I rejected his money. For you, I will. Well, that's your business, but I wish you make peace with your father. Did you even consider our dowry? No. I'm just upset that I unintentionally became the reason of your quarrel. Even if your father is strong, he loves you and wishes you well. Do you seriously want to cut ties with That's him? That's enough. I really feel bad about us arguing. I even counted for your support in this. So what? Kati just quit. It's because of me. <laughs> Kacha! Kacha, wait for me. Well, I just wanted to say that I'm thankful to you for not messing up or for supporting my son. I told him we were friends and he shouldn't count for more than that. He must be offended, but at least it's true. It's always better to tell the truth. I still wish you didn't quit. But it's probably a right decision. It's good that said he won't see you every day. Hopefully in time, he'll settle down. Thank you for understanding. But I worry about you. You have no job now. I'll find another one. It's not my first time. I just want you to know. We will help you with any of your problems. Thank you. Well, I'm going to the lecture. I hope you two will handle yourselves well. What if I don't handle her well? I haven't been with the kid for a long time. I see that you're getting along with Lucia. Call me if anything goes wrong, but I'm sure that everything will be okay. I will come help you. Uh-huh. Okay. You wear this apron. Oh. All right. Thank you. Go. I hope that we'll... Have fun today. <laughs> I almost forgot to check Lucia's temperature. She hasn't fully recovered from her fever yet. Uh huh. Bye. Goodbye. See you later. Okay. Uh, let me check. Oh. Just look at her looking very innocent. Who can say that she ruined a family and now sleeps with someone else's husband? Let's go. Do you think that Ivan is alone in that house? No. He must be with a little girl too, and that's better. The last thing we need is to scare a little innocent girl. You turned out to be a sensitive boy. Ridiculous. She won't get affected. You better worry about me. It's only me who's in danger. Why are you so concerned about my quarrel with my father? It's not even your business. That's where you're wrong. It's my business too. First, your father is my relative now. Second, he is my business partner. That's why I believe you acted irresponsibly. I did what I had to do with him. And it's annoying me. And it's not about your dowry, which we could invest in our business. So money is your biggest concern right now? Don't interrupt. I found myself right in the middle of a family argument. You should have consulted me before making your emotional decisions. Get used to it. You're an adult and almost a married woman, but you acted like a child. Are you finished now? Yes, now I'm finished. 
now I have to go to work early. I'll try to come back as soon as I can. We'll put it here, and another one here, and it will look like a flower. How do you feel, hmm? Your temperature seems normal. Would you like some warm milk and some butter? It's good for you, and it's good for your throat. Yes, please. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hello, honey. Don't kick me out. What do you want? I want to talk. I told you everything I wanted. We already patched things up. No, we didn't patch anything up. It's you who said everything. But I still have a few things to say. So you better listen, Ivan. We can finish monitoring Ivan. Laura just informed me that she rejected the expected dowry. So Ivan is unlikely to run and take the jewels from the deposit box. That's bad luck. But I will spend some more time on a stakeout. There's something fishy going on. Victoria visited Ivan. Asya and Katya are not home. Do as you will. I wonder how it will all end up. Let's meet on the bridge after. Then tell me everything. See you later. You know, you never told me you prefer being a babysitter rather than running your business or a hotel. I love children. What's it to you? That's okay. I think it's cute. I think you're just having the midlife crisis. What do you think? What do you want? How cruel can you be? The one who loves children should not be cruel and have a bad attitude. However, you love not only children, but also young women. Enough to be your daughter. How old is she? Have you heard what I said? Now get out of here! You found a new mistress. For you not to feel so old, am I right? If so, you probably have mental problems. Honey, you're growing old after all. Ivan, Alzheimer's is knocking on your door. What are you doing, Victoria? Are you playing with fire? You said that you love children. Hmm. But you're just an old fool who thinks he can start living like you're young. Like you have no responsibility. You decided to throw Laura and I out of your life and take what belongs to us and then spend our communal money on this stray Asha, Kacha, and their little rats! Victoria, that's enough! No, I will not stop! You thought you could humiliate me with impunity and mop the floor with me? But you must have forgotten that I know your dirty business, know your dirty secrets! Don't you dare say another word! What? What are you going to do, huh? You weakling! What Why do you- Why you- <gasps> uh, Are you okay, sweetheart? What happened? What happened? Are you okay, sweetheart? It's not a big deal. This is just a small wound. Wait for me here. Just wait. I'll get the band-aid. What now, Ivan? You did this, Don't you bitch. Me. I won't tell anyone what happened. Oh. You won't, and I won't even count on it. Oh. Huh? Don't hurt me. Come on, like. I'm careful. Like I won't let you hurt Lucia. <laughs> get out! <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Don't come near here again. <laughs> Lucia. Lucia. Are you okay? Uh, Lucia, she's gone now. An angry woman is gone. Does it hurt? Can I see your wound? We'll clean your wound and put a bandage on it. Okay. Is it going to no, kill no. Me? Of course it won't. Don't be afraid. There's some special water. Don't worry about it. It's a little. Uh, don't worry. This is a little bandage. Look. Let's do it together. You're gonna be okay. So, how did it go? It didn't work. I tried to make him furious, but he hit the table instead of me. He already kicked me out by force, but it still doesn't count. It's good that he didn't hit you in front of the chai. Otherwise, who knows what could have happened. I have another plan anyway. You have to do what Ivan didn't manage to do. Me? Yes. Are you... Are you sure? Absolutely. I have it all figured out, but you need to hit me so that there are notable signs. On my face, it has to be noticeable. No. What are you? What are you scared? I can't hit a woman. 
Go on. Hit you where? <clears throat> Victoria. I'm sorry, but this is your request. <laughs> Where is Katya? She'll be back here soon. I got a report today that there was a fight here and one child is injured. Yes, it's true.